you know that high idea you swore was brilliant and it turned out to be something like giving pizza names or making a lamp that smells like soup? Let's talk about why cannabis makes your brain do that. Number one, low-dose THC can help spark creative thinking. It nudges your brain into a divergent mode where wild ideas come from unexpected corners. Think of it like spraying WD-40 on a stuck gear. But too much, that gear jams. High doses reduce fluency, flexibility, and originality. So yes, cannabis can help, but only in Goldilocks amounts. Number two, feeling creative isn't the same thing as being creative. Studies show people rate their high ideas as more original, but neutral judges don't agree. Cannabis boosts confidence, not competence. It's like beer goggles, but for your imagination. One 2022 study even found cannabis biased users to overrate their ideas without improving the outcome. Number three, it's highly individual. For some, cannabis calms the internal critic and opens the mental floodgates. For others, it adds fog to an already chaotic brain. The trick is knowing your sweet spot and saving the weed for after the heavy lifting. Use it to explore, not to execute. So the bottom line, cannabis won't make you Picasso. But with the right dose and the right timing, it might hand you a better brush. Just don't paint the ceiling fan again. Sure, most high ideas end in face palms. But bread twisty ties, double-sided tape, sesame seeds on a hot dog bun, odds are those were high thoughts that worked. If this changed how you think about weed and creativity, save it and send it to your idea guy. You know, the one who pitched a musical about potato chips. Follow for smarter cannabis care and fewer what-was-I-thinking moments.